stay tuned for more laughs on Access TV. Live from the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City, Dave Landau is taking the stage when we return. Welcome back to the Access TV presentation of Gotham Comedy Live. More laughs happening right now. Are you guys ready for your first comedian? That's right, you've seen him on Comedy Central. Please give a warm New York welcome to Dave Landau. Thank you. Oh, good to be here. All right. I quit watching porn recently. Uh, my wife and I are trying to have kids, so that way I don't waste any. I'm glad I stopped, though, because I realize it's degrading to women. Like, it's gross. Like, ejaculating on a woman's face. It's rude. <laughs> women don't want you to do that. I did that one time to a girl. She was pissed. Probably because it woke her up. <laughs> and that's why I'm no longer allowed to ride Greyhound, so. If my wife and I do have kids, I don't want to be one of these people who are always showing pictures of their kids to people. Like, my wife has a friend like that. She's always showing pictures of her kid to people. It's annoying. Like, even complete stranger. Just look at my kid. Have you seen my kid? Look at my kid. Picture my kid. Look at my kid. Here's my kid. Look at my kid. Picture my kid. Picture my kid. Picture my kid. Look at my... It's like, relax. It's been two years. <laughs> You're not gonna find them. Just keep a better eye next time. You hated that joke, didn't you? All right. We're not using condoms right now. That's exciting. Raw dog in it. That's what the kids are calling it. I remember the first time I saw a condom, I was a little kid in sex ed class, and our teacher demonstrated how to use one by putting it onto a banana with his mouth. Which sucked, because a few years later, I was getting ready to lose my virginity, and my girlfriend's like, put this on, and I almost broke my fucking neck. <laughs> my friend actually said to me, he goes, what if you have a gay baby? What if you have a gay baby? I'm like, um, first of all, if my kid ends up being gay, it's whatever, Just live their life. Secondly, I don't know if I've ever seen a gay baby. <laughs> I've never been holding one like, mm, this one's pretty gay. <laughs> Unless maybe his first words were, if I could turn back time. <laughs> and you might have a gay bee on your hand. I don't get homophobia. I, I don't get the arguments against gay marriage. It makes no sense to me. You should marry who you want. And if they outlawed straight marriage tomorrow, dudes would be dancing out the door. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I gotta go. It's the law. <laughs> you ladies would leave too. Just, hey, pot belly, small dick, I'm going dancing, yeah. <laughs> you smell like a foot. And whenever people argue about gay marriage, it's always the same dude. They find him in the woods. He just says, oh, we let guys start getting married. People want to start marrying animals. <laughs> and appliances. <laughs> Where do you draw the goddamn line? <laughs> I think just before animals and appliances. <laughs> you show up with like a raccoon or an oven. You're like, hey, scram. The only animal you should be able to have sex with legally, we all know, is a kangaroo. 
because it has a pouch for your clothes. And kangaroos can box. So if you're a fucking one, it's because it wants you to. I like how some people clapped, and other like, I'm just not doing that on a bestiality joke. Also, kangaroos have three vaginas. That's two more than most women in here, three. It's a quarter dozen. I found that out after a show, a guy came up to me, he's like, you damn right about kangaroo sex, they got three pussies, you can bring friends. So I Googled it, they have three vaginas and a pocket. So much storage, it's like God gave them cargo pants. That's a lot. <laughs> Suck to go down on her, two more to go, what? I don't have three dicks, you're a greedy kangaroo is what you are. You hop on out of here. But marry who you want, that's what I said. I don't know. I, I myself, I just celebrated my six year wedding anniversary. Well, thank you. Thanks. It's a nice anniversary. I gave her diamond earrings. Thank you, right? Pretty good. She gave me a homemade coupon for a blowjob <laughs> that expired in June of 07. <laughs> Maybe next year I'll get a DeLorean time machine. It's me from the future. Suck it. <laughs> I'll tell you what sucks too the most about homemade sex coupons, and that's that they're only redeemable at her store. I mean, that's not fair. Like, this is a gift. Let me shop around, goddammit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Little buy one, get one. BOGO. My buddy actually just got a proposition by a prostitute to blow him for $40. I told my wife about it, she goes, $40. She must think she's pretty good at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Okay, for, first of all, that's a tragically low amount of money. <laughs> Secondly, that's all that's been holding you back all these years? is $40. Cause now that I know that's my wife's price range, I spend a lot of time trying to give her $40. I had a shitty day at work. Oh yeah? You wanna make $40? I put walnuts on your salad, it's healthy, eat up. Oh, I put two 20s in my nuts on yours. Eat up. <laughs> I think I'm ready to be a father though now, like, uh, cause I quit drinking a little while ago. Uh, not that I'm happy about that. They just put a breathalyzer in my car and I realized maybe I have a problem. <laughs> I get to be a designated driver a lot now and I actually found out in high school you can get in trouble being a designated driver. My brother and I were 17 years old. He's my twin brother. And we were on 8 Mile in Detroit where we grew up at a White Castle. My brother was pissed drunk and shocked in my car. And we had ordered a Crave case, which is a briefcase of hamburgers. <laughs> so as we're pulling out like all good drunks, my brother notices a prostitute. So he just starts hucking cheeseburgers at her. It's like, how much for a hand job, bitch, Pam? And I was dying laughing right up until she pulled out her badge. <laughs> it was an undercover cop. If you could have seen the look on my dad's face <laughs> when the prosecuting attorney read, would you blow us both for extra cheese? <laughs> Thank you guys very much. My name's Dave Landau. Stay tuned for more laughs on Access TV, live from the Gotham Comedy Club in New York.